Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to draw these flowers really quick. I am going to slow it down a little bit so you'll see what I'm doing, but I took a circle. It doesn't really matter what size your circle is, and I'm going to click on the circle, and I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to move that circle straight down until I get to the quadrant. I'm going to control D again. And I'm going to move it to this intersection. I'm going to control D it again and move this to this intersection. Now we've got a shape in the middle that would take us just a little bit of time to draw, but we could have drawn it another way. We're going to left click, right click. We're going to make it a little bit more easy to calculate, so we're going to change it to two inches. I did have my ratio locked where it does it equally. I'm going to control D and I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to move it down one arrow click. I'm going to control G and make a group it together. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. I'm going to control D, control D, grab it all and weld it. And there is a the first flower shape. Let's zoom in here a little bit. There's our first flower. Control D and make a duplicate of that shape. And this was purely just playing around. It's a little rainy in Central Texas. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to select all my inside nodes, and I'm going to hit, well, I missed one. Hold down the Alt key and lasso all the inside nodes. Press Delete. You get that shape. Control D, make a duplicate of it, move it over. Move that over. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete all these interior nodes or circles. Now this is basically a rounded off star, but it's something that would have taken you a little bit of time to draw. So there is your three shapes. By filling in the Smart Fill tool, you will see the different shapes. Then you just remove them and you could actually select them all and put right click no hairline and then you just have an outline of a color of a petal of a flower or the bud of a flower. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. A little fun project and thank you for watching.